A time for all barbarian heroes and their trusty dragons to rise and begin their mighty action-packed adventures. What a lovely day to draw sap for pancake syrup. Blah. Don't be silly, Faffy. Of course you want to. Okay, sap, come to Papa. <laughs> kind of slow. Hey, hey. Morning, Uncle Oswich. How's the sap? Uh, it's a little tart. How about it, Faffy? Want some tasty sap? <laughs> Come on, you love sap. What's the matter, Fathom? Well, he's been moping all week. Nobody likes a crybaby. Dave! Mom and Dad are calling on the crystal ball. Ooh, let's go, Fath. <laughs> Hi, Mom and Dad. How's the battle against evil going? Not bad. Your father destroyed an evil fortress yesterday, but it turned out it was just a discount shoe outlet. My bad. So, did you get our package? What package? We sent Faffy a glazed ham. <laughs> Maybe just one bite. No, no, we didn't get it. Why'd you send Faffy a ham? You know, for Dragon Appreciation Week. Be jabbers! Dragon Appreciation Week! It's over tomorrow and I didn't give Faffy anything. No wonder my special little guy's been upset. After all, Faffy's done for us. We have to show him how much we love him. But how? There's only one way to show true love. We must... Shop! <laughs> Anyway, the reason we called is we hid the magical grape of Bobo Badobo in Faffy's room, and we need you to send it to us, or this giant ice monster is gonna freeze the entire world. <laughs> okay. Hello. You still there? Hello. And so our heroes embark on the most hazardous and perilous quest of all: shopping. Okay, let's find Faffy a nice gift. We'll show our appreciation through the magic of retail. Ooh, the new goats are in. <laughs> This is cute. Can I smash it? No. Aw, I never get to do anything barbarian-y. Looking for something, darling? I... We got that. <laughs> what do you want? Tooth extractor? Rump whistle? Spiked helmet? Spiked boots? No, spiked I... Spiked toilet paper? I think... Wait! Oh, I got just the thing. A diseased weasel. <laughs> now, I know what you are thinking. It's a little... Adorable! A little adorable, exactly. I can let you have it for five... I must have it! For 50 drinkles. Hello, money. I love you. I'll nurse you back to health, and you'll be Fappy's new best friend. Uncle Oswich, can I smash Dave? Well. Yeah, okay. Oh. Nice! Two, four, six, eight. Who's the dragon we appreciate? Faffy, I got you the best present ever. Meet your new little friend. I call him Carl. Isn't he just the cutest thing? I knew you'd love him. Carl will only share your bed for a little while, Faffy. Just until I nurse him back to health. <laughs> Carl, does poor Itawujiwu have a fever? Here are some nice grubs I rooted up with my nose just for you. Ah, I missed one. But while trying to feed Carl the nose grub, Dave fails to notice the little weasel's eyes darting about, seeking something. I... Seeking the hiding place of the magical grape of Bobo Bidobo! But to what end? Can there be more to Carl than meets the eye? Well, there certainly can't be less. Hmm. Guess you're not hungry. <laughs> Why, Baffy? It's so nice of you to let Carl have more room. <laughs> I sense your displeasure. <laughs> I do not like Carl better than I like you. Stop being silly and go to sleep. Consumed by jealousy, Faffy sets out to eliminate his competition. I am very 
disappointed in you. Thus, Dave has no choice but to punish Faffy by making him sleep outside the castle tonight. <laughs> oh, great is the fury of a dragon spurned! But Faffy is about to make a terrible discovery. Ah! I'm going to destroy your happy little family, and there's nothing you can do about it! <laughs> yeah, that poor little weasel wouldn't hurt a fly. Jealous much, Faffy? <laughs> Wake me up again and I'll turn you into a water buffalo's intestinal gas. Carl is a sweet, innocent little lamb. Now, I want you to go back outside and think about what you've done. Go! And so, feeling betrayed and ignored, Faffy departs the castle forever. The little dragon leaves his family behind, vowing never to return. Meanwhile, a certain weasel's chance has come at last. Ha! With that dragon gone for good, at last I can steal... You're standing. That's great. Of course I am, you barbarian chucklehead. You're talking. That's great. Now that I have the magical grape of Bobo Bidobo, I shall destroy you all. You're threatening to destroy us. That's... Is that great? That's not so great. I shall have no further need of this disguise. <laughs> Jabbers, it's... Oh, what's your name? Don't oh, don't tell me. Does it start with a J? The Dark Lord, Chuckles, the Silly Piggy. I asked him not to tell me. I have but to swallow the magical grape, and I will be transformed into a bee so fearsome, so powerful, that you will have no chance of defeating me. <laughs> it's a little tart. <laughs> Fear the mighty, devastating, bloodthirsty... Kitten. Okay, this is... Really not what I had in mind. Oh, he's so cute. I may be cute, but I'm big enough to squash all of you. Quick, someone get some catnip and a gigantic ball of... Jabbers, what's going on? A giant evil kitten is going to destroy us all? Typical. And now, you will all perish! <laughs> Truly, our heroes seem doomed. But unbeknownst to Chuckles, Faffy did not in fact run away. It was merely a clever plan to gain the element of surprise! <laughs> well, maybe not terribly clever. <laughs> I am invincible! Oh, quit it! That stinks, pathetic dragon! I'll defeat you with ease and... Wow! That was even with more ease than I thought it'd be. With... Faffy! He's... he's gone! Perhaps Chuckles cannot be defeated with the magical grape inside him. But there's one thing Faffy knows about kittens. They cough up hairballs. Uh-oh. That could be a problem. But what about Faffy? He sacrificed himself to save us. What the? <laughs> Fuzzy, my scaly little chum. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, um, I think this would be a good time for us all to talk about our feelings. Huh? <laughs> Meanwhile, far, far away... <laughs> I shall freeze the entire world in a gigantic block of ice. And the only thing that can stop me is the medical grape of Popo. Oh, Dad, burn it. I told you the kids would send the grape. Uh, I guess I owe you a book. And later, back in Udragolf. Faffy, we're sorry we didn't believe you before. And to show you how much we love and appreciate you, here's something to replace that glazed ham Uncle Oswich ate. I just can't control myself around a ham. <laughs> I warn you, I'm very high in cholesterol. Uh-oh. Don't worry, Faffy won't really eat him. It is but a merry jest. Good night, and try safely. are enjoying the marvels of the great indoor marketplace. Look what I bought. It lets you listen to music wherever you go. They call it a walk minstrel. My love is like a red, red rose. But she doesn't smell as good. With a head. Yeah, I found a volume control. Jabbers. Look. What is it? A spider? Is something burning? Is it on me? I don't see it. Is it invisible? Are invisible spiders crawling on me and burning? 
now. Look over there. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? That's Argon. He was my first owner and the love of my life. He was your first owner? She, yeah, right. You're like 20,000 years old. What's your point? Uh, you don't look a day over 16,000. Hey, that's Argon the Ageless. I have his famous barbarian trading card. We were great together, like mayonnaise and more mayonnaise. So I like mayonnaise. So what? Here he comes. Oh, do I have anything in my teeth? All clear. Not you, pal. Nose nugget. Right barrel. <gasps> Argy, it's me. Oh. Uh... I know it's been a long time, but true loves never forget. Of course not. You were that one sword, right? Oh, I thought of you every minute since the day cruel fate so tragically separated us. Oh, Argon, what a lovely snowman. Hmm, needs a nose. Whoa, rockin' snowman! Okay, late, babe. Argon, my love? Two months later. Yoo-hoo! Six months later. Argon! One hundred years later. I'll give him five more minutes. Oh, now you've come back for me at last. Yay, Lula's love for Argon still burns with the heat of 100 suns. And Argon's love for Lula burns with the heat of not any suns at all. Oh, I thought I'd lost you forever. Gee, sad story. I'm crying here. You gonna introduce me or what? Oh, um, Judy, this is like that one sword and uh, that one sword, this is like Judy. Let's... Listen up, Toots. Tall, blonde, and ageless is all mine now, see? So beat it! No! No! Is my nose clear now? No! I was just asking. Lo, great is Lula's misery, for her true love now seems truly lost. Argon's found someone else. Ah, <laughs> uh, that guy's a weenie. You deserve better, Lula. Yeah, and I thought his new sword looked kind of cheap. Seriously, that tight scabbard left nothing to the imagination. I can't go on without my Argon. <laughs> What's the matter with me? You want a list? Well, for one thing, you're knitting. Who ever heard of a barbarian who knits? Ha! Huh? Just what I was looking for. I may have a way to win Argon back, but you gotta have total respect for my decisions. How about instead I don't? Good enough. Is my secret princess, cute and fuzzy chamber of peace. It used to be the castle crypt, but I totally redid it, and it's super secret. Absolutely nobody knows about it. Nobody. Oh, sorry. The upstairs one was busy. Don't go in there. It's so great to finally have someone to do girly stuff with down here, Lula. We can totally henna our hair and paint our toenails. Two problems. One, no hair. Two, no toenails. Okay, so we'll skip to the girliest of girly things. Manipulating boys. In my hands, I hold the key to winning Argon's heart. An article in Barbarian Teen Magazine. How to bag your buff barbarian beef boy. Classy. And so, Lula and Candy obey the words proclaimed by Barbarian Teen Magazine. <clears throat> Number one, to win over your barbarian, appeal to the hero within him. Let him rescue you from the jaws of a vicious animal. This is the best vicious animal we could find? I assure you, I'll be most convincing. I studied at the Royal Academy. Growl. Yay, I do growl most menacingly. What up? Uh, a sword-wielding moose. Wait till the gals back home see this. Excuse me, would you mind taking our picture? Yeah, you got it. Say cheese. Cheese! Cheese. Number two, if you want to trap a barbarian, embrace your inner huntress. A net, lasso, or bear trap works best. Yeah, what? We got him! Hey, girls, somebody caught a man! It's giant! Hit him to the wild! Oh, nothing's gonna work. So what? I still say the guy's a weenie. Now, now, let's just let go of all the day's tension. Bring them... Like, knock, knock. Oh, I knew you'd come back for me! May I ask what this is regarding? And may I ask why I shouldn't pound you like a piece of veal? Dude, I realize now that in all my many centuries, I have met no sword better for me than Ariadne. Lula. 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 Dave, here's my two weeks' notice. I quit as of two weeks ago. See ya! Isn't it wonderful to see true love win out? It would be. 
if you weren't a total weenie. Thus, Bulula and Argon set out to rekindle their ancient romance. They fest and feast. <laughs> And they bask in a glow of a tender moment. Ouch! Meanwhile, without his sword, Dave is feeling a bit naked. Dave, we're acting naked! Uh, we're looking for an enchanted sword. We got that. Voila! An enchanted sword of a great power. It's just a toothbrush! Well, yeah. But it's an enchanted toothbrush. Arr, I'm waging a war on cavities. Hmm. Dental hygiene is important. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I got a magical half a bagel. <laughs> hey, kiddos. Huh. Hello, Judy. I see you left Argon for someone more. Toothless. Left him? Huh. The big palooka traded me to this guy for a potato. Best potato I ever spanned. Love him and leave him. That's Argon for you. But Luna thinks she and Argon are going to be together forever. He's going to break her heart, believe you me. We have to do something. Don't forget to rush the tail. Everybody forgets to rush the tail. I have a clever plan to show Lulu what a jerk this Argon the Ageless is. What do you say, Dave? Are you with me? No, <laughs> Special delivery for, um, Mr. Ageless. Who's it like from? The Queen of Queen Land. Are you handsome? Baby, baby, baby! Ow! Argon, you wouldn't look twice at that flashy new sword, would you? Hey, who's gonna look twice? She's a total hottie. Uh -huh. This blonde himbo doesn't love you. As soon as someone new comes along, you're history. Let's kick him in the shins and get out of here, okay? Ah, oh, you're nuts. Argon and me are together forever. Right, Hun Bun? Beat it, you hunk of tan. I got a shiny, pointy new sword. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you have sweaty palms? Argh! Jabbers! Mad sword! <laughs> uh, you can't attack me. I'm unarmed. Catch! Ha! On Cardi! Ah! I'm waging a war on cavities! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't forget to brush the tongs! Ah. Uh. I've been such a fool. No! Well, yes, actually. But it seems like I should say no to make you feel better, because it's like chewing tinfoil with you sometimes, you know that? It's good to have you back, Lula. It's good to be back, David. <laughs> Nose nugget, left barrel. <laughs> I just love doing that. Barbarian! Hi, I'm Dave the Barbarian. And I'm Lula, the Enchanted Sword. We've had a little fun with dental hygiene today. But it's no laughing matter. So be sure to brush and floss after every meal. Otherwise, evil tooth decay goblins will move into your mouth and play loud polka music day and night. Thanks for listening. And remember, stay in school! Take the plunge under the sea with Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder in The Little Mermaid. Coming up next, here on Disney Channel.